However, by the end of today, this day, 17 Americans and more than double that number of patients around the world will die waiting for a transplant because there's just enough, not enough donor organs to go around. This organ shortage is a major problem facing transplant today. The dream of transplant researchers, the holy grail, has been to use pig organs to supplement the human organs and to solve the problem of the organ shortage. Why? Because pigs are an unlimited supply of organs. The size of the pig kidneys was exactly the same as human kidneys. And despite um, difficult uh, patient, because um, advanced uh, vascular disease in this patient, the procedure went well. Upon restoration of blood flow into the kidneys, the kidney pinked up immediately and started to make urine. When we saw the first urine output, everyone in the operating room burst in applause. <laughs> it was truly the most beautiful kidney I have ever seen. <laughs> we still don't know how many years uh, these kidneys can survive, but according, based on the, uh, our preclinical research, uh, we are aiming at years, or at least for two year, more than two years in the best case scenario, but still we have to be careful. So the kidney, microscopically, when you look at it, it looks exactly like a human kidney. And he functions very similarly. But there were a few things that, based on the diversion 80 million years ago between humans and pigs, that are different. And so the genetic edits that have been made allow us to have a much more compatible kidney in terms of coagulation, in terms of the complement system, and it has removed some of the obstacles that we had faced in terms of hyperacute rejection. So these are special sugars that are only are present on the pigs that we have antibodies against. And so if you remove those sugars, suddenly when these kidneys are placed, you don't have that immediate rejection happening. So I think these are three of the major changes that had occurred to make this a more humanized kidney. The second part is the part about the infection, which of course is a concern for uh, many people. However, these pigs are, are bred in a very, very controlled environment. And not in addition to that, there were some, uh, many genetic uh, modifications or edits that inactivated certain viruses that are present in pigs, which are called the porcine endogenous retroviruses. And this, this creates just an extra level of safety for us to decide that's good enough and to move on into transplantation in humans. Because after you have 30 years of diabetes and hypertension and you've undergone a, uh, a, a first kidney transplant that's failed, uh, the vascular anatomy is really quite complex, uh, can be diseased, and you have to find the right spot on the vessels to place to implant the kidney uh, vasculature. So that's a challenge. And uh, he's a big guy, so it took a lot of work in the OR. It was a fairly, it was a high wire act in the OR, you know, but uh, this, it just, it, it's a testament to the skill of our surgical team that we're able to, to, to really um, uh, complete the surgery in only four hours uh, and have a successful outcome. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.